thing through Music City this weekend. We're going to talk with all of these guys and gals about their performance in just a minute. But first, here's a taste of what you can see at the Larry Keaton Theater. Take it away. Job. The message in right now and the Celtic Rhythms on Fire will be at Larry Keaton Theater on Donaldson Pike this weekend. The yes. Irish Dance and Music Review, a sight to see. You got to see just a little bit of it just mm -hmm. a minute ago. And all the money raised benefits cancer research. So joining us this morning to talk a little bit more about the event and, and really what it takes to prepare. We are joined by Mary Moran and Nashville Irish Step Dancer Caleb Collins. Thank you guys for coming Thank in. Thank you for having us, Jen. I so enjoyed your performance, even though it was just really quick. You guys, Caleb, let's start with you. You put a lot of work into what you do. Yes. Tell much. us about how much training, how much practicing goes into this. Um, well, we go to class twice a week mm -hmm. for two hours, two and a half hours. Okay. Sometimes three days a week. Wow. And then on Saturdays for the show, we're there all day long. And yes. then on Wednesdays as well. So they're like there three, four days a week. And on Saturdays, it's a long day. It's like nine until we're done. How popular uh, and how much of a following is there here in the mid-state for, for the Irish step dance? It's growing. You know, when I first moved here, um, like years ago, 25 years ago, I've been actually teaching. Next year will be my 25th year wow. teaching in Nashville. But when I first started, there was no Irish step dancing, and I actually was recruited mm -hmm. to teach here because there was no one that did Irish step dance, or, and people actually begged me. They said, oh, could you wow. teach me how to do that? So, well, I'm sure it became even more popular with the Lord River of the Rings, dance, yes. the River Dance, and all that good yes. stuff. I grew up tap dancing, which is very different from what you all do, um, but it, it's amazing how much strength and agility it takes right. to Right. The technique is very similar, yeah. the positioning and, and the tightness, yeah. I'm going to have the girls give me a quick lesson before they go, and just quickly, let's Let's talk a little bit about the event and, and why you're doing it and why it's important for you. Okay, we have done this annually. I think this is probably our 14th or 15th year. It's mm -hmm. a fundraiser for our school, and then we like to do something to raise money for awareness to different causes. Like one year we did diabetes. This year it's going to be cancer. Okay. And we'd like to get back to community and also a fundraiser for the school. Okay. Um, it's a great way to perform. The kids get to do lots of fun numbers. We are a competition school as well as a performance, but this way they get to do a lot of fun numbers and incorporate Irish step dancing. So you give them some contemporary music, and they get to use their arms and, and wear great costumes, and they want to practice and they're motivated and it's it's just a nice balance between competition and performance and before we give all the information to put up on, on the screen Caleb real quickly just a, a true story your mom was an Irish step dancer which is how you got interested in this yes it is <laughs> you, you would go with her when she was going to the lessons yes, and, that's yeah. how and she, she was on so. one of my first national teams adult teams well it's all in the family yes. in a lot of cases yes. all right want to give you the information here the Celtic Rhythms on Fire Irish Dance and Music Festival this is the review uh, Friday February 28th 7 p.m. and then also on Saturday and Sunday $20 for adults. This is at the Larry Keaton Theater, and uh, part of the proceeds do benefit cancer research. So, Mary and Caleb, I want to thank you for coming in. Thank you thank so you. much. Have a great one. Good luck, okay? Thank you. Uh -huh. Let's keep talking.